Well, boys, this should be an interesting one. <laughs> So cold out, boys. Perfect day for some cold start action. Started right up. So you might be wondering, Jimmy, what in the world are we doing here today? The simple answer to that is, I have no clue. We're just cruising today, boys. We are in the PTGT again. A lot of you guys have wanted to see some action with this car, see any sort of driving content. And it's something that we haven't really had very much of. We've been working on so many projects, we've been dealing with so many issues recently that we just haven't really been able to. And this car wasn't like legal, it wasn't inspected until just like a week or two ago. And now it's legal, so I've been driving it literally everywhere since the dailies down, which I will update you guys on later. But we got some stuff to talk about and we just, we got some cruising to do. It's been a while, I miss you guys and I'm kind of challenging myself to do something different again and um, get out of my comfort zone a little again because my comfort zone right now is just filming whatever I'm doing in the shop. That's what the channel is all about, but it's it's nice doing other things and you know, we love all things cars. We love cars, that's why we're here. In one way or another, we love cars and uh, I want to express that more in the video. So, rant aside, we're back in the PTGT. It feels so good to be driving with you guys up on the windshield again. There is someone in a little Gator UTV in front of me and there's a truck coming. So I have to like stop. All right, let's give him a flyby. <laughs> this car is so fun. This car makes me so happy. I love this car. I always will, no matter what. This will always be my baby. I don't care what anybody says. So that being said, how are you guys? How was Thanksgiving for you guys? Last weekend was Thanksgiving. I'm filming this in like the middle of the week after Thanksgiving of 2020. And uh, it was really fun for me. I just hung out with some family, went to a family gathering and didn't really do much. Kind of slowed down my pace videos with, with videos and, and productivity levels with stuff out in the shop. And just kind of enjoyed it a little bit. Hung up Christmas lights, all that kind of fun stuff. But God, I feel like this camera, this is something really bad for this camera right now kind of a bad time of day to be filming this probably. I can't even see my screen. I'm really sorry if the footage is bad on some of these roads that I'm going to be on. Speaking of which, I had my GoPro facing forward on the windshield and I was going to kind of overlay some of that footage some of the time, but my suction cup mount already broke. So yeah, that, that didn't work out so well. always drive this car in auto stick. I never use, leave it in drive. Like most of the time I don't leave it in drive because that's boring. Who leaves their car in drive when you can shift it, bro? <laughs> Anyways, this car has been running really well. Again, I've just been driving it. Uh, the daily we have had the heater core torn apart. We've had the whole dashboard torn apart for that whole heater core job. And that has been taking up so much of my time. That job has been insane, but I've honestly been enjoying it. I've been learning a lot from it, and I'm really excited to come out with another video or two on it. That, that's right, another video or two. I decided to make it a two-part series, but it may end up being a three-part series. Maybe more. I don't know. Maybe it'll still be two parts. I don't know. It depends on how much footage we get, but at the rate we're going, um, we could make a few good videos out of it, and um, I think you guys will enjoy it. Let me know what you think, you know, by, by letting me know down in the comments, as, as I always appreciate you guys doing. I love getting feedback on the videos. It helps me out a lot, whether you hit the like button, you leave a comment, whatever, it doesn't matter. It just it just really helps me out and I appreciate you guys. I've just been enjoying the PTGT. I literally have stuff sitting in the shop waiting to get installed. I have one mod that I've been talking to you guys about a little bit on and off that I've been waiting to install like all summer and I still haven't done it and I need to do it soon. Um, I wanna do it before kind of the end of the season, although the season's already ended, but it's December now, car season is done. Um, um, there actually has been some salt spread on the roads here in New York and that's usually when people just just rip their cars off the road They will not drive their babies anymore, but 
I'm still driving mine because I don't care. <laughs> I'll clean the underside really good. There's a few spots of rust underneath uh, that I want to touch up. It's not 100% perfect, this car. It's really clean, but it's not 100%. It's been in New York quite a bit of its life, you know, many years of its life. So it's not perfect, but I plan to touch them up anyways. We'll be cleaning it up. And I have so many plans for this car. Once we um, finally kind of park it, uh, and finally are done with driving it for the season. There's a lot of things I want to do, a lot of plans that I can't talk about quite yet, a lot of goals that I have for it, and there's a bunch of stuff that I want to do that you guys are just, you're just going to have to wait to see. Whoa, now the sun is really bright. We have the opposite problem now. This is the, literally the worst time of day that I could have filmed this. Oh my God. Speaking of the PDGT though, the brakes have been performing amazing. As you guys know, we put brand new, really nice rotors on this thing, as well as some beautiful EBC yellow stuff pads. They have been doing amazing. I've got them all bedded in. I've had them bedded in for a while. And I've probably put a couple hundred miles on them since then. And they've just been doing awesome. I've had so many goals in the past that I was not able to achieve as soon as I wanted to. And I was so busy beating myself up for that. Being like, you know, you messed up. You didn't meet your goals, you know. And being all discouraged about it. And, and I spent way too much time in that mindset to just get over it and keep moving forward. And, and still make them happen. And it's kind of easy to do that when miss a goal or, or you don't live up to your expectations for yourself you sometimes you gotta lower them a little bit you gotta say you know what it's okay life goes on and you know keep moving forward <laughs> keep moving forward god who has said that before just another one of them copycat youtubers aren't i that being said everything has been going well um the heater core project has been going well it's just been a lot of work as to be expected um it's taking longer it's gonna be taking me probably at least a week in total um you know balancing it with other projects we're also gonna be working on my dad's dt Yes, very soon. Uh, I'll have to keep you guys updated on that, and uh, I might might make a little update video just on that, or throw it in one of the future vlogs. We'll see. But, but I think I want to do more videos like this on and off. Uh, this one is kind of tough because I don't really have a topic. I don't really have anything. I don't have any plan. I'm not going any place other than I think I'm going to stop at Napa and pick up a part that I ordered the other day that I forgot about. But I just kind of wanted to pull the camera out because I know it's going to take a while longer for me to. Uh, have enough progress to make a video out of the heater core and I, I figured this was the perfect opportunity to do something like this I know a lot of people do things uh, around this time of year where they're like daily vlog or like do, do stuff like that and kind of do more personal videos and I've honestly really been enjoying it because you know after I work all day I finish making videos working and, and editing and all that stuff doing whatever I got to do every day I, I will sit and I'll watch a few YouTube videos of other YouTubers that I really enjoy and I've been seeing them do stuff like this and I've really been enjoying it as a viewer so why not give it a shot? But well, speaking of work, um, something that I've been very focused on is our flip projects. And as you guys know, something I started doing uh, the end of last year, beginning of 2020, uh, is I started doing what I call flip projects. And I bought a 2006 PT Cruiser. I got it for really cheap, it had some issues. We fixed it up, we made a few videos on it, and then we sold it for profit. And then over summer, I bought another PT Cruiser. I bought a 2006. Seven, I think it was convertible that had a lot of issues and we ended up fixing that up spending a lot of time fixing that up because that car gave me great hairs I swear that car ended up being a little bit bigger of a project than I had anticipated but it is what it is we did that over summer we ended up selling that car for a very big profit we did very well on that I think this is the road I want I don't yeah okay I'm turning in the right road I don't know I literally <laughs> I literally don't even know where I'm going I don't know what I'm doing today <laughs> I want to do right now and what I'm trying to get into I was hoping to get a dealer's license here in 2020 
but because of like the DMV being shut down for the beginning half of the year pretty much here in New York and all of that stuff it, it kind of made it a pain and I ended up just saying you know what we're not gonna worry about it as an individual you can flip like five or six cars uh, just just as a normal person without having to have a license in this state so I, I decided not to worry about it for this year because um, we only ended up flipping up like two or three cars so I still it's a big goal of mine to get a dealer's license very soon and to make that all happen which I definitely want to do here in the beginning of 2021 so we'll be talking about that all later in the future but as I was saying flip projects is still something I want to do and I have been hunting and hunting and hunting for something over the past I don't, it's probably been like two months at least now since we sold the convertible but my big thing now is I'd rather take more time and find something better than uh, spend more time working on it like I did with the convertible um, I got a really good deal on it but it just needed so much work I'd rather wait find something a little bit more uh, that's a little bit more solid I guess and that needs less work maybe invest a little bit more money into it this time oh that is bright oh my god invest a little bit more money into something that you know won't be quite the headache that the convertible was but I've been spending a lot of time on Copart for not only the flip project but something else that that we'll talk about in the, in the future but I can't I can't give away too many secrets there's some there's some cool stuff that I want to keep a surprise for you guys it's gonna be awesome but looking a lot on Copart Copart actually has a lot of clean title cars believe it or not and they're not all salvage because if you guys don't know Copart is like a salvage auction thing that's online um, they give you the ability to bid on stuff if you're, in, if you're in a state like mine where you have to be a dealer to auction to go to automotive auctions and, and to bid on cars and hit big auto auctions it will link you up with some sort of broker that has the licenses to bid on the stuff for you and you go through them and you know pay them fees and all that stuff so it really opens up a whole new world of opportunities for someone like me and I'm really excited about it I've been I've been on there a lot and there's a high possibility that our next flip project will come from them doing it and making mistakes and doing stuff wrong and redoing it you know 
all that stuff. That's how I've learned what I know today. And that's how I've made every single one of my videos. That's just that's just what we're all about here. And a lot of you guys already know that who are here, subscribed and watching all of my videos, which by the way, thank you guys so much. We hit 12,000 subscribers recently. We're already close to 13, which just, it means the world to me. It warms my, warms my heart <laughs> to see our community growing. I just love it. I love being able to interact with you guys and talk with you guys. So many of you are so cool and are so supportive of everything that we do here. I hope that's not a cop. Actually, that might be a cop, so I'm not, I, I was gonna do a poll, not gonna lie, but we're just gonna be a little careful. Never mind, not a cop. I just got blue ball. But anyways, I went off on a rant. I'm sorry, I'm so, so ADD and unorganized with videos like this, but that's pretty much your update on everything that's been going on here. Is there anything else I can talk about? Go subscribe to my music channel because in my spare time, when I don't feel like going out in the shop and freezing to death, um, I make I make music and, it, and I make beats. They're kind of they're 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 mediocre, but go subscribe anyways. Link in the link up here down here. <laughs> That's I I have nothing else to say. I think I actually need to stop at Dunkin' though because I need coffee really bad as well. I just feel the caffeine leaving my body right now, so. Maybe we should stop and get a coffee too, so I can stay awake for the rest of this video. All right, a couple minutes later, we just pulled up to Napa, but I just realized I got a text from my, my friend Brandon. He borrowed one of my torque wrenches because he got new tires for one of his cars and he was gonna put them on today. But um, apparently the three the three quarter socket that I gave him or that was on it uh, was not the right size. And I don't think I have like a 19 millimeter or anything in my shop. I wanna say that we destroyed it doing something. I don't, I don't remember. <laughs> It would make sense if it was a 19. Is it like a little too big, the three quarter? Yeah. Then it probably is a 19. Um, yeah, you're right. When I look at the lug nut uh, wrench, it, it is close to the three quarter one. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's probably a 19. I don't think I have a 19, but I'm actually a Napa right now. I'll, I think I'll grab one because I've been needing one. I'm gonna pick one up. I could, if you want, I could stop in with it in a minute. Okay, yeah, sure. Because yeah, I literally, I just pulled in a nap, I saw your text, I'm like, oh, 19 millimeter. I've been eating one of those. <laughs> All right, and just a few minutes later, got a 19 mil, got a radiator hose. Now we're gonna go drop that off. And all of my own plaques. One hour later. Oh my god, it is so cold. I don't know if you guys can tell, but I am like chilled to the bone. That was really fun though. I ended up hanging out with Brandon while he finished up torquing his lug nuts. I got my wrench, I'm bringing it home. Got my new 19 millimeter here, ready to rock and roll. Ugh. It is so cold. It's so windy today, which just makes it 4,000 times worse, but oh well, I can't complain. Just gonna take a little drive home, warm up a little bit, and when we're back at the shop, it's time for a little heater core update. Ooh. Oh, okay. All right, one hoodie and hat change later. We're out here in the shop and got a little update for you on this thing. At the point that I'm filming this, which is like mid this week that I'm putting up the video, um, yeah, finally got everything out of here. The HVAC system is completely gone. The dash is naked and Everything is out of the car. There's the HVAC unit and uh, there's everything. We did actually have a heater core leak. I was able to confirm it once it was finally out of the car. There's a little sneak peek for you guys down there in that corner. We got some good footage already and so much more to come, obviously. It's gonna be at least a few more days that I'm gonna be working on this and, and putting it back together and everything. It ended up being a huge job. We ended up taking some stuff apart under the hood, get the HVAC unit out and everything. Tomorrow, first thing I'm gonna be doing is pulling our evaporator core for the AC out and there's still just so much more to come on that, so be sure to stay tuned. Also got these brand new mufflers, like I was saying before, for the DTS, they come with nice new tips. Ooh, they shiny. So hit the thumbs up button again if you did enjoy it. It allowed me to put out a video a little bit earlier this week than I would have normally been able to. It's gonna allow me to spend more time on the next episode of this mess. There's so much learning going into this, not just the filming and, and the process of doing it. So it's taking a little while, but uh, I'm really excited about it and I'm really excited for the progress that we've made so far. Putting it together is going to be a little bit stressful, but it's gonna make for some awesome content. So you guys are not gonna wanna miss that video. If you haven't already, scroll down there, hit that subscribe button and the little bell next to the subscribe button and tell it to turn on your notifications because then you will always know whenever we upload here on the channel, whenever there's some good stuff coming out your way. Hit the thumbs up button as well if you did enjoy, of course. I think I've said that like five times on this video, but 
but it seriously helps me out a lot. Also, leave a comment down below about whatever. Whatever you feel like commenting, I don't care. I've been keeping my eye on the comments. I reply to as many as I can, give you guys hearts and stuff, so be sure to leave one down below. I'd love to hear from you guys, and uh, I love you all so much. Thank you so much for tuning in for this little vlog. I hope, again, you enjoyed. You rock. God bless you guys, and I will see you in the next one.